Hi, I'm Rachel, a qualified child restraint technician from Baby on the Move, and I'll be guiding you through how to install your car seat to get you and your baby on the move safely. Before we begin, make sure your vehicle is parked on a level surface to ensure you get an accurate restraint angle when using the level guides. Where possible, we recommend installing the car seat in the back seat of the vehicle and never in front of working airbags. For further details, please refer to your vehicle and car seats manual. If using the latch installation, check in the bite of the vehicle's back seat for Isofix bars to connect to. If using the top tether installation, check for anchor points in your vehicle. Anchor points are located either in the back of the vehicle seat, in the boot, on the rear back dash, or in the roof that's accessed from the boot. This is the Graco Transitions 3-in-1 Harness Booster. This car seat converts to three different modes for children that weigh between 10 and 45 kilos and whose standing height is 145 centimetres or less. This car seat can be installed in forward-facing mode using the five-point harness for children whose standing height is 125 centimetres or less and weighing between 10 and 20 kilos when installed with the latch system and for 10 to 30 kilos when using the vehicle seat belt. The forward facing full booster mode is suitable for children that are three years or older whose standing height is between 96 and 145 centimeters and who weigh between 14 and 45 kilos. The forward facing half booster mode is only recommended once your child has fully outgrown the full high back booster mode. The half booster mode can accommodate children that are 4 years or older and who weigh between 18.1 and 45 kilos and whose height is between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Install forward facing full booster using the latch system and five point harness. This car seat can be installed in the forward facing mode using the five point harness for children whose standing height is 125 centimetres or less and weighing between 10 and 20 kilos. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. Source the latch straps. Extend the latch straps to their maximum length by pressing the grey button and pulling on the strap. Attach the latch connectors to the vehicle's Isofix points. Ensure the latch straps are not twisted. Remove the slack from the latch straps by pulling on the tensioner. Tighten the latch straps by pressing down firmly in the centre of the car seat. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point in your vehicle. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove slack. Check for movement by moving the car seat from left to right and back and forth. For a correct fit, there should be less than 2.5 centimetres of movement at the belt path. Place your child in the car seat. Position the harness over your child. The height of the harness straps must be at or just above the child's shoulders. The chest clip must be in line with your child's armpits. Check you cannot pinch the harness straps at the shoulder. Install forward facing using the vehicle seat belt and five point harness. This car seat can be installed in forward facing mode using the five point harness for children whose standing height is 125 centimetres or less and weighing between 10 and 30 kilos. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Store the latch strap so they are out of the way. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. A handy tip is to use a clothes peg to hold the seat belt in place. Route the vehicle seatbelt through the forward facing belt path. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. Lock the vehicle's automatic locking retractor seatbelt by slowly pulling the shoulder belt all the way out and then release it back into the retractor until you hear clicking. 
For emergency locking retractor seat belts, you will need to use a locking clip. Tighten the vehicle's seat belt by pressing down firmly in the centre of the car seat. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point in your vehicle. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove slack. Check for movement by moving the car seat from left to right, back and forth. For a correct fit, there should be less than 2.5 centimetres of movement at the belt path. Place your child in the car seat. Position the harness over your child. The height of the harness straps must be at or just above the child's shoulders. The chest clip must be in line with your child's armpits. Check you cannot pinch the harness straps at the shoulder. Install forward facing full booster using the latch system. As your child grows, you will no longer be using the five point harness and instead will use the vehicle seat belt over the front of your child. We will secure the car seat using the latch system. To use this method, your child must be three years or older, weigh between 14 and 45 kilos, and their standing height between 96 and 145 centimetres. Store the harness system by doing the following. Removing the harness covers. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Remove the harness straps from the splitter plate located on the back of the car seat. Remove the buckle and harness straps from the bottom of the seat by rotating the metal retainer to the side to slide through the slot. Pull the harness system out of the seat. Convert car seat to a half booster. Detach lower elastic straps. Store the metal splitter plate. Reattach the elastic straps. Reattach the back of the car seat. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. Source the latch straps. Extend the latch straps to their maximum length by pressing the grey button and pulling on the strap. Attach the latch connectors to the vehicle's isofix points. Ensure the latch straps are not twisted. Remove the slack from the latch straps by pulling on the tensioner. Tighten the latch straps by pressing down firmly in the centre of the car seat. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point in your vehicle. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove slack. Place your child in the car seat. Thread the shoulder portion of the vehicle's seatbelt through the seatbelt guide on the headrest closest to the retractor and vehicle door. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt through the red guide under both armrests. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. Pull on the shoulder seatbelt to remove slack from the lap portion. The vehicle's shoulder portion of the seatbelt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle's seatbelt should sit over their lap on their thighs where your child is strongest. A common mistake to check. Both the shoulder and lap sections of the vehicle seat belt must follow the car seat belt path under the arm of the booster closest to the vehicle buckle. Install forward facing full booster using the vehicle seat belt. 
As your child grows, you will no longer be using the five-point harness and instead will be using the vehicle seatbelt over the front of your child. To use this method, your child must be four years or older, weigh between 14 and 45 kilos, and their standing height between 96 and 145 centimetres. Store the harness system by doing the following. Removing the harness covers. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Remove the harness straps from the splitter plate. Remove the buckle and harness straps from the bottom of the seat by rotating the metal retainer to the side to slide through the slot. Pull the harness system out of the seat. Convert car seat to a half booster. Detach lower elastic straps. Store the metal splitter plate. Reattach the elastic straps. Reattach the back of the car seat. Store the top tether strap by attaching the tether hook to the bar located on the back of the car seat. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Place your child in the car seat. Thread the shoulder portion of the vehicle's seatbelt through the seatbelt guide on the headrest closest to the retractor and vehicle door. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt through the red guide under both armrests. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. Pull on the shoulder seatbelt to remove slack from the lap portion. The vehicle's shoulder portion of the seatbelt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle's seatbelt should sit over their lap, on their thighs, where your child is strongest. A common mistake to check. Both the shoulder and lap sections of the vehicle seatbelt must follow the car seat belt path under the arm of the booster closest to the vehicle buckle. Install Backless Booster. The Backless Booster, also known as a half booster, is the last stage seat for your growing child. This mode helps to guide the vehicle seatbelt over the strongest parts of your child's body. It is recommended to use the back of the car seat for as long as possible before moving into this mode. This mode can be used for children who weigh between 18.1 and 45 kilos and whose standing height is 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Store the harness system by doing the following. Removing the harness covers. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Remove the harness straps from the splitter plate. Remove the buckle and harness straps from the bottom of the seat by rotating the metal retainer to the side to slide through the slot. Pull the harness system out of the seat. Convert car seat into a half booster. Detach lower elastic straps. Store the metal splitter plate. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Place your child in the car seat. Your child's ears must be below the top of the vehicle's seat back or headrest. 
Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt through the red guide under both armrests. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. Pull on the shoulder seatbelt to remove slack from lap portion. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. The correct position. The vehicle's shoulder portion of the seatbelt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle's seatbelt should sit over their lap on their thighs where your child is strongest. A common mistake to check. Both the shoulder and lap sections of the vehicle seatbelt must follow the car seat seatbelt path under the arm of the booster closest to the vehicle buckle. If the vehicle shoulder seatbelt does not lay on the front and top of your child's shoulder, then you need to use the belt positioning clip. To attach the belt positioning clip, insert the loop end of the strap through the same slot as the harness adjustment strap. Push, clip and strap through the loop. Pull to tighten the strap. Push the clip through the slot in the pad. Attach seat pad to base using the elastic straps. Place your child back in the car seat. Buckle your child in. Slide the clip into the vehicle's seat shoulder belt. Adjust the belt positioning clip to fit your child. The clip should now fit right at the top of the shoulder. To open the five point harness. To loosen the tension strap, press the silver button at the front base of the car seat. To open the chest clip, squeeze and pull away from the middle. Push the red button in the centre of the crutch buckle to remove the buckle tongues. To do up the five point harness. Weave your little one's arms through the top section of the harness strap. Click one buckle tongue in at a time. Pull the tension strap at the front of the car seat to tighten. Clip the chest strap together. Slide the chest clip to align with the armpit or nipple height of your child. To adjust the headrest height, squeeze the hold trigger at the top of the car seat. Push and pull up and down. Once the desired position is located, release the trigger. The correct crotch buckle position is the one closest to your child without being underneath your child. To adjust the buckle strap, from the bottom of the car seat, rotate the metal retainer to the side in order to push it through the slot easier. Push the metal retainer back through the desired slot then pull the buckle strap back up as shown. If the car seat moves more than 2.5 cm at the belt path, tighten by placing your knee in the centre of the car seat. Shift your weight onto the knee on the car seat and pull the seat belt taut. There are three car seat safety standards that can be used in New Zealand. This car seat is an American standard car seat which is approved for use in New Zealand. At Baby on the Move, we believe that no one should have to go it alone in parenthood. With a number of boutique stores across New Zealand, we are here to support you through parenthood. We can provide support through a local expert who will stand beside you every step of the way to make things a little easier. 